Pfizer's COVID vaccine is in British hospitals today. Tomorrow, they'll start vaccinating. The FDA is meeting this week to approve Pfizer's emergency use authorization request here in the United States. In just a few weeks, the first Iowans will likely receive a shot of the new COVID-19 vaccine. We're getting a lot of questions from you about vaccine mandates, the history of a massive rollout like this one, and more. So tonight we're trying to answer some of those questions. Joining us now is Dr. Amy Bix, professor of history at, at Iowa State University. Dr. Bix, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, in a matter of weeks now, hard to believe, but hundreds of millions of doses of this coronavirus vaccine will be given out to states, and that'll likely continue through next year. So how's a rollout of this scale ever been done before? Nothing really quite like this. Vaccines, of course, have been tremendously important throughout modern history, and particularly the polio vaccine was incredibly influential, making a difference for basically the entire population in terms of providing protection from an extremely serious disease. But what's unique here is, first of all, the speed with which this vaccine has been developed, and then in particular, trying to get it as quickly as possible to as many adults as possible. So th there's some understanding as to why a lot of people are really skeptical about this, about how quickly it has been developed and is being rolled out. But what can we as a public learn from the efforts with eradicating polio? Well, the exciting thing about polio really was the dedication that people poured into it. In particular, you had President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who had been struck with polio as an adult. And the March of Dimes campaign at the time was extremely influential and afterwards in terms of raising money to help victims of polio. So that's the exciting thing there. But really, it's almost until coronavirus, it was very difficult almost for my students, for example, to imagine the sheer terror that the idea of polio struck parents in particular the fears that the children might be infected, things like swimming pools emptied out in the summer because a lot of people thought those were associated with it. So it's very interesting for students and the rest of us to really get this insight, as terrible as it's been, it gives us a new understanding of the history of medicine and precisely why these medical advances are so important. We're going to have to wait and see how this one plays out. Very interesting to be living it. Dr. Amy Bix, thank you so much for your insight today. Very interesting. We appreciate your time. Thank you.